lest you forget Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 and it says and you shall remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day lest you forget when God blesses you that when you have become prosperous when you have eaten and you're full lest you forget your God. And I will tell you who forgot their God. Uh, there are two kings in the king of Judah. There are two kings that are really interesting. How they began their king uh, ruling and reigning during their time. They were very interesting, these two kings. Eh? Story of two kings, King Joash and King Uzziah. Fear to to add King Solomon. Yeah, But these two kings were the king of Judah at a point where King Solomon had reigned for a long time when he died the kingdom was split so there was the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah these two kings were the king of Judah Josiah Joash and Uzziah these two kings they, they began so well they be, they were kings at such a young age at age 7 at age 12 they became kings at such a young age and they did well. The Bible says they walked with the Lord. They did well. As in the, they did well during that time. They walked with the Lord like their father David. Even God, the Bible says like their father David because they were from that lineage of David. They walked with the, with the Lord. They rebuilt the temple. See, they took down idols when they became kingdom. And it's just like a pattern. Uyu king anaingia, ananza vizuri, he's young, ananza vizuri, and, and, and uh, he brings down all the idols, and uh, he bans uh, idol worshippers, he rebuilds the temple. They, do, they start so well, so well, and teach it until it reaches a point. You know, because they began so well, they were seeking the Lord during their time, they became prosperous. They prospered, they became wealthy, they were, became strong, they reigned until pride checks in. They start so well, you know. Wananza vizuri, wanafuata mungu, maandiko ya mungu, vile moses aliwambia the laws, they follow all that until pride checks in. They become so prosperous, wealthy, they wame make it, wame omoka wase. Na waliku wame omoka by the way. Wali omoka, walikuwa na rain siju, kuna moja me rain 40 years, mungine siju 26, siju 52 years. My goodness, I love pride in the Because now they are rich, I am wealthy, I'm reigning, you know, I've conquered these other kingdoms. Pride in a check-in into their heart. How many of us pride has checked in? We, the beginning of the year. We were so, we were trusting God. Tunanza na mungu vizuri. January tuko pale 40 days of prayer and fasting. Hey, church, pasi ya nasema tuombe first 40 days hey, and fasting. Tuko na yeye, kila siku tunaomba. March inaingia, April. Zile vitu tukua tunatrustia God zina come through. Zina ganza kuingia one by one, one by one. April, May, June, vitu zina ingia fiti, vitu zina ingia fiti. August, pride ina check in. Ina ingia ina check. Eh, church, unambi wakuja tuende zile mabebo stati kudu. Una, unambi wakuja sijui nini kesha kufanya. Pride now check in. You, forgo, you forget your God. Lest we forget how far the Lord has brought us. May we never forget. Because the way we begin in January, in a fast way, your pace mpaka December, at no point should you change. Because the story of these two kings, Joash, My God, they died miserably. Defeat. Aka were later back and they were defeated. One died in leprosy, one died in battle because they forgot their Lord. Do not forget your God when you become prosperous. Ile energy unanzanga nayo January, maliza nayo December. Izo makesha, izo ma Bible study, izo ma fellowship. Enda usiyache. The same way you begin in January, I'm telling you, end it like that in that place in December lest you forget your God who blessed you in January, whom you cried to 